The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration are recommending a pause in administration of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine in the U.S. after six people developed a rare and severe type of blood clot within two weeks of vaccination. The pause is intended to allow some time to prepare the healthcare system to recognize and treat patients appropriately. On Wednesday, the CDC will convene a meeting with the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices to review these cases. All six cases of blood clots occurred in women between the ages of 18 and 48 who developed symptoms 6 to 13 days after vaccination. One woman died and one is in critical condition. All six developed a rare type of blood clot known as cerebral venous sinus thrombosis along with low levels of blood platelets. But to put that in perspective, more than 6.8 million people have been given the Johnson & Johnson single-dose vaccine in the U.S. so far. The agencies say that the adverse events appear to be extremely rare. Still, they're recommending a pause in the use of this vaccine out of an abundance of caution. This comes after multiple countries in Europe pause the rollout of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which is made from the same technology as the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, following several rare reports of CVSC blood clots. Treatment for this type of blood clot is different than the typical anticoagulant drug called heparin used to treat blood clots. How long the pause will last will depend on what agencies will learn in the next few days about the blood clots, but they expect it to be just a matter of days. Most countries have resumed administering the AstraZeneca shot, but with various age restrictions and guidelines. It's not yet clear what the link between the vaccines and these blood clotting reactions are, but a leading hypothesis is that it could be the result of a very rare immune response to the vaccine.